interest we put on the books and then we took it we took it off the books so so now we took it off the books for the first day after so if i go into the detail and we check out the detail here drilling down to the source docs uh, this is going january through march perfect so we put it on on the books with a, a credit and then we took it off on the first day after even though the payment isn't actually happening until the middle of march and then when the payment happens in the middle of the march uh it'll 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 look like this they can just do the normal journal entry and not have to deal with the fact that that payable is on the books because if i look at the balance sheet now the books look like what the bookkeeper if we think of the bookkeeper as being separate than the adjusting department is doing right the bookkeeper is saying okay i don't have any interest payable messing me up whatever and so if i go to the tab to the right and update it here let's add another column for february again because that's cool to do i'm going to edit this thing and add another column another column date column and this is going to be march i mean we already have february this is march adding march and let's customize that and let's save the customization so we have it there next time as well all right so now we can say that we have interest down here so we had uh, interest recorded and then we reversed it now this should look fun this should look uh, kind of funny here because this is actually a, an increase this is this is increasing net income uh, and it should be it's down here it's not an expense it's a it's it's kind of flipped because this is the other income and expense area so this is actually looking it's acting like revenue and it's an expense so that shouldn't be that shouldn't be the case that will look funny and notice the accountant if you do this the the accounting department will say that what did you do there's something that looks funny there because now i've got this thing hanging out there but if they record the normal transaction as of april april it will be correct meaning for example once we hit this point where they're going to record this transaction what are they going to record they're going to record a debit to interest expense of 145.83 when they do that it will net out against this amount to give us the proper amount recorded in the second month which is 72.92 so it will then properly break out and between the two periods if we use this method without having to change the method of what the accounting department is doing when they record the transactions but you have to kind of understand that so that when people ask you why is that there then you can kind of explain well that will that's the adjusting entry it's going to make sense after you do the the entry at the end of uh or or when the next payment is due march 15th in this case so now you can see what happened is we recorded the manual entry uh, that put it on the books. We can't see the manual entry because this is just March. Let's bring this back to Feb. Uh, Feb, we could do just Feb 28. So then we can see we put it on the books before the cutoff date. So now we recorded the proper interest expense and then we reversed it after the cutoff date so that we can make the financial statements as of Feb 28, the cutoff date. And then after we reversed it, which results in if we run a report just for March, something that's not quite right, right? 72, you're showing like a, a negative expense account as of just the month of March. But it will be correct when they record their normal journal entry, in this case, in the middle of the month on March 15th, and they record the full amount of the interest expense, 145. 83 because it'll net out to half of it being recorded in march right that's the that's the idea of it okay that's what the reversing entries do they're an attempt not to mess up the bookkeeping department so that you can do your adjusting entries and tweak everything to be perfect as of the cutoff date for financial reporting purposes either for external reporting or for taxes and still not mess up the bookkeeper as they move forward with their internal uh reporting purposes all right, so let's uh, let's now open up our reports. I'm, let's look at the journal report. I'm going to right click and duplicate, and let's open up a journal report to see the journal entries we've been creating thus far. I'm going to go to the accounting dropdown reports and open up a journal, the journal report. 
This is my journal of activities. Uh, some people like to write it down, write their journal with like prose text, but we this is what our journal looks like. Add a new journal. Well, no, I'm not adding a journal. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're looking at the report here and let's make this as of uh, the date custom range and let's make it as of March 1st. So we had a reversing entry as of uh, March 1st, boom. And so now we can see our uh, reversing entry. It's a manual journal entry. We can also say that we just wanna see the manual entries up top. And so we can see just our reversing entry there and we can generate this report. And remember the reversing entries can be identified because they're always gonna be the day after the adjusting entry, the day after the cutoff, the day after 228, which is in our case, March 1st, because there'll be journal entries and because there'll be manual journal entries and because we're gonna post in the description that this is a reversing entry. All right, let's also open up a trial balance. I'm gonna hit the drop down up top and I'm gonna go down to the reports again. Now, I'm gonna make the trial balance for the whole year this time because this is the reversing entries are included uh, in March. So we changed something after 228, after the cutoff date. So let's go, let's go to the drop down and just say, we'll just say custom 2023, the end of it. I'm just gonna say the whole year. And so this is where we stand. If your numbers tie out to these numbers, great. If they don't, then the things that we changed this time were of course the, uh, the payable account. And where's that payable account? Where's the pay? Oh, it's gone now because we made it down to zero. <laughs> and then the interest expense account. Those are the things that we had uh, a change to. And remember, it's not a change as of 228. We made it after 228. That's why we're running the report for the year.